In today's digital age, securing your online accounts is more important than ever. Though username and password will provide a basic level of security, they can be vulnerable to breaches. That's where two-factor authentication, also known as multi-factor authentication, comes into play. So, what exactly is MFA? MFA is like adding extra locks to your email, thus providing additional layers of protection. Whenever you sign into your account for the first time, you'll require two or more authentication factors to verify your identity. MFA includes something you know, like your password or key phrase, something you have, like your smartphone or YubiKey, something you are, like your fingerprint or facial recognition. Now, let's walk through how to set up MFA when signing up for Zoho Mail. In the sign-in window, enter your complete email address and the one-time password sent to your mobile number or official email ID and click Sign In. Next, you will be asked to reset your password. Provide a strong password of your preference. Now that you've reset your password, you will have to sign in again with the new password. Once signed in, you will be prompted to configure multi-factor authentication. We recommend using Zoho OneAuth as your authenticator. To set up MFA using Zoho OneAuth, click Enable MFA in OneAuth button. You will now receive a pop-up box that will guide you to install Zoho OneAuth on your phone from either the Play Store or App Store. Once installed, sign into the application using your complete email address and password. Choose Keep Using Password. Now, MFA will be enabled for your account. By default, push notification is enabled for the account. If you'd like to change your mode of authentication, open Zoho OneAuth app in your smartphone. Click on the pencil icon. Click on the green button next to Preferred Sign-in Mode. Choose your preferred authentication mode. You can select according to your preference from the options available. Push notification. QR code or a time-based OTP to sign in to your account. Push notification. You'll receive a notification on your smartphone to verify your identity. QR code. You'll receive a QR code on your web page to scan with your smartphone. Time-based OTP. You'll receive a one-time password on your smartphone which needs to be entered on the web page to verify your identity. Select Done and next click Save. Go back to your browser window and click I've enabled MFA. And that's it! The next time you log into your Zoho account, you will authenticate using your chosen method providing an extra layer of security. Remember, adding this extra layer of security keeps your email account safe and secure. Make sure to configure MFA to keep the hackers at bay. Thanks for watching.